What is going on everyone? This is Nero again. And today I have for you actually the third installment of a series I'm running on my channel called Nero's Field Manual, where I'm going to try to be covering most weapons here in Modern Warfare 3, going over uh, how they perform in-game with their in-game statistics, as well as a little background history on the weapon as well. And, mmm, panic knife to the first blood. <laughs> That's funny. But uh, I, to cover on gameplay before I get uh, started in this, we're playing uh, Ground War Domination yeah, here on Outpost, and Outpost by far is my least favorite map in the game, but which makes it even you know even more worthwhile the fact that I got such a good game here on Outpost, and I'm pretty proud of that because uh, I hate this map and I can never do well on it. But then again, I'm using a Type 95, which then again, you know, this gun isn't that hard to use. So, uh, but bringing into that, bringing into why it's not that hard to use, and uh, why I believe it's one of the most ridiculous guns in the game. But we're going to be going over a lot of the in-game stats. That's all going to happen later. Right now we're going to talk about the gun in real life. So the Type 95 is a Chinese assault rifle, also known as the QBZ-95 in other parts of the world. Now I'm not even going to try to pronounce what the what each letter in QBZ represents, uh, because it is in Chinese and I'm not going to embarrass myself by trying to speak Chinese. <laughs> but uh, I can tell you that the Q stands for light weapon, the B stands for rifle, and the Z stands for automatic. So basically you put those together, it stands for light automatic rifle. Now, a lot of you guys may not understand that, whereas uh, you see the FAMAS, or not the FAMAS, <laughs> it performs like a FAMAS, but the uh, Type 95 here in Modern Warfare 3, uh, you guys may not understand why it's called a light or light automatic rifle when it's a three round burst. So, for those of you who don't know, most assault rifles in real life, guys, have the functionality to uh, perform fully automatic fire, three round burst fire, and semi-automatic, otherwise known as single fire. So just about every gun in real life can do that, guys. Every assault rifle can do that, basically. And uh, But they chose to give the Type 95 a three round burst here in Modern Warfare 3, simply for weapon variety, because every assault rifle, uh, most assault rifles anyway, are actually fully automatic, except for the MK14, which is a single fire, and your M16, your Type 95, or three round burst. They do it just for weapon variety, so not everything's fully automatic or semi-automatic, just for variety to throw in a couple three round bursts there. So I hope you got that cleared a lot of things up for a few of you. Now Type 95, uh, the 95 in Type 95 actually stands for the year the weapon was made, kind of similar to the AK-47, whereas the AK-47 was made in 1947, the Type 95 was made in 1995. See? Put them two and two together, kind of makes sense. So, this weapon was designed in China, like I said earlier, it's a Chinese weapon, and China, which now is known as the People's Republic of China, but it actually runs on a newly developed cartridge, the 5.8 by 42 millimeter DBP 87. I actually had to write that part down. Usually I can look up the, re I can research this and I can just remember it all and just kind of flow with it and get a nice flow to my videos. But I actually had to write that down because DBP 87, it just doesn't flow off the tongue really well. But the DBP, DBP 87 round is was claimed by the Chinese military to be far superior than the 5.56 by 45 millimeter NATO round. Uh, for those who don't know, that round is the same round that runs with the M16 and the M4A1, two uh, American, American made assault rifles. And they also think that's a lot better than the 5.45 by 49 millimeter uh, Soviet cartridge, which a lot of the Russian weapons run on, right? So the Chinese military is going out there. They're going out there on a limb, basically saying this is one. This is the best round ever made. And you know, whether or not this is fact, uh, no one can really be certain of that. I mean, no one. There's really no way to prove it. I mean, to, in my eyes, anyway, there's no way to prove which bullet's better. I mean, a bullet's a bullet. It kills people, right? But judging by how ridiculously powerful this gun is here in Modern Warfare 3, I would definitely say that's the greatest bullet ever made in the history of ever. So, if I ever aim down my sight here, wait for, yes, perfect timing, Look, see how I reload right there, and how the magazine is actually in the back of the gun, whereas most, uh, whereas traditionally, the magazine is right, right uh, in front in front of the trigger. Uh, it runs on a bullpup configuration, which makes this gun kind of look visually similar to the French Moss or the Austrian AUG, the AUG, you guys may remember from, um, Modern Warfare 2, as well as Black Ops, the AUG, or the F2000, which you guys, I hope you remember from Modern Warfare 2, because I love that gun, even though it was really bad, but I loved it. You know, its design and its distinct sound are what make this thing very noticeable when you're playing Modern Warfare 3. You know, you, he you hear the weapon, and you can hear it across the map, whether or not someone's using a Type 95, and just the way it looks, because it's, you know, it's one of the most visually uh, different guns here in Modern Warfare 3, that you can definitely tell if someone's using a Type 95 just by looking at them as they run. I mean, it's so it's so distinct to me. But, you know, what, what am I saying? You guys have probably been killed with this gun a million times. You probably use it a lot as well. Because this is, by, like I said, one of the most popular guns in Modern Warfare 3. And we're actually going to get into that. Why is this gun so popular here in Modern Warfare 3? Now, we're going to be going, you know, with all the real-life facts out of the way, it's time to break down this gun in-game to see exactly why it's such an amazing weapon. 
The Type 95 in Monfair 3 does 55 damage per bullet at close to medium range. This is second highest in the entire game for any weapon besides shotguns and sniper rifles. The only weapon in Modern Warfare 3 that does more damage in close to medium range encounters is the MK14. Which, you know, the MK14 does 75 damage per bullet, whereas the Type 95 only does 55. But that's, that's more balanced to me if you think about it, because uh, the MK14 is the only semi-automatic weapon, uh, semi-automatic rifle in the game. Uh, compared to everything else being automatic or a three-round burst, so I believe if you have to pull, you pull the trigger for every bullet to come out, I think it should be a strong gun. That's just weapon balance, in my opinion. So that explains a lot about you know how it explains a lot because of how uh, strong it is close range. But I think now it's going to be time to talk about long-range damage. The long-range damage on the Type 95 is actually really, really bad. But the Type 95 only does 20 damage per bullet at long range. You know this is among the worst for the assault rifles. Well, it's actually tied for a couple. Well, it's tied with a couple other assault rifles, and it, it's it's bad. I mean, the um, 20 damage per bullet at long range is the same damage as submachine gun. Well, most submachine guns here, Modern Warfare 3, will do at long range. This renders you know this would render the Type 95 ineffective, right? No, 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 it doesn't. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Uh, the Type 95. Uh, to understand. Uh, the Type 95 and then how good it is at long range, uh, you need to understand the functionality of a three round burst weapon. The three round burst behind semi automatics and sniper rifles, obviously, is the most accurate form of weapon in the Call of Duty series. If you guys remember way back to COD 4 and the M16, or the FAMAS and M16 from Warfare 2, think about it. Think how accurate these weapons are. The, the beauty of a three round burst is that it does what its name implies it shoots three rounds with a single burst. This means for the Type 95, in close to medium range encounters, the damage applied to the enemy if you cash all three bullets in your burst is 165 damage. If you uh, think every bullet does 55 damage, and if you cash all three bullets, that's 165 damage to your enemy when the enemy, when your average enemy player has a base of 100 health. This means at most ranges, the Type 95 is a one burst kill, and it's just ridiculously good. <laughs> and then, you know, you would think with this measly 20 damage per bullet at long range, the Type 95, if you cash all three bullets in your burst, is only going to do 60 damage per burst, which is barely half of what it takes to uh, take out an enemy at long range, right? You would think that would make it bad. It would sound bad, but the rate of fire on the Type 95 definitely compensates for that. The Type 95 in-game shoots 1,000 uh, bullets per minute. This is the same fire rate as the PP90 submachine gun or the FAD assault rifle. Think of you think of the PP90 or the FAD, you think a ridiculously high fire rate. The Type 95 is exa has the exact same fire rate, except for the fact that it is um, a three-round burst. So this quick fire rate means you can fire burst after burst of damage into your enemy with the, nearly the speed of a fully automatic rifle, with the accuracy of a three-round burst weapon. That's what that's what <laughs> that just was what makes this gun. So ridiculously, ridiculously strong, and it just honestly just makes this gun stand out so much compared to every, every other weapon in the game. So usually the Call of Duty developers will balance out a weapon with such high damage with a high amount of recoil, right? But that's not the case for the Type 95. The Type 95 is tied with the M4A1 and the FAD for the least amount of recoil of any assault rifle in Modern Warfare 3. So you take your gun with no recoil, one of the highest fire rates. One of the highest damages at most range, and you make it one of the most accurate. I mean, I mean, come on, think about this. How and then, I mean, usually I'm positive in my videos. I'm definitely positive in all my field manuals, but this gun is ridiculous. You guys are seeing me in this game. I'm using a silencer and rapid fire, in which rapid fire takes that thousand points per minute and makes it more. You shoot faster with rapid fire, and it just makes this gun ridiculously powerful, guys. Uh, in terms of attachments. The Type 95 is amazing with any of them. With low, with low, with its low recoil, a lot of players, uh, you know, a lot of players opt out. I mean, usually you guys use the kick proficiency on a lot of assault rifles. You can go for the two attachments, like I did with rapid fire and a silencer, or a lot of other players who uh, go with a red dot and rapid fire. I mean, it, it, the amount of uh, attachments you can use is endless. I mean, you can just keep using anything you want in this gun. Anything is effective. I've picked up this weapon uh, plenty of times. Whereas I'm using it with uh, thermal scope, and it's still not bad. I mean, this gun is good. Now, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. If you guys enjoy using this weapon, go for it. That's what we, that's what we all paid for sixty dollars for. We all paid uh, the money to enjoy the game. 
And if you enjoy the game by using the Type 95, then more power to you. You know, I'm happy that you're happy, if that makes sense. But me personally, I don't recommend, I, I, I wish you wouldn't, because uh, I don't like, I, I just don't like this gun. I think it's too easy. I mean, I go 48 and 3 there, and it's, it's, it's too good, in my opinion. And they, and I think they need to buff it a little bit. And so, you know, I, to stop myself from being a hypocrite, I stopped using it. And believe it or not, I'm going to put a picture in the, uh, in the section, or in the, uh, description for you. And it's actually going to show you guys a, a clip from my Call of Duty Elite where it shows my weapons. I actually have more kills with the Spaz-12 shotgun. One of the worst shotguns in the history of shotguns. The Molliver 3 Spaz-12. I have more kills with that than I do the Type 95. So, uh, you know, uh, practice what you preach, I guess you would say. But I hope you guys enjoyed this field manual. I hope you guys uh, stick around for the next one. Uh, this is actually the third one we've gotten out of the way. We have the uh, SCAR, the G36, and the Type 95. Now the next one's going to be the M4A1. So until then, I hope you guys all enjoyed this gameplay and commentary, and uh, have a great day, guys.